Time for What Are the Odds? Presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. Your app is ready, Emperor. All right, time to make some extra change. What better way to do it than thanks to my guy Caesar? RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, both plus 25,000 to lead the NBA in scoring. Meanwhile, the newest Nick, Jalen Brunson, plus 50,000 to lead the league in scoring. Evan Fournier is plus 5,000 to lead the NBA in three pointers. I told you my guy JJ was going to be back sticking around to help me once again make a little extra change as we go into holiday season. I need, I need to win a couple of bets. Okay, so no one is expecting the Knicks big three to shock the NBA, but other than RJ Barrett, who will be the most important offensive player on this team this season? Well, Jason, for starters, we're not betting any of these guys to lead the NBA in scoring. That's number one. Plus 25,000. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Save it. It's a donation. But to answer your question, it's Jalen Brunson. They paid him a ton of money to go and orchestrate the New York Knickerbocker offense. They have been dying for years to have a legitimate bona fide point guard. Jalen Brunson is a winner. He was a winner in Villanova. He played very well for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, the Knicks paid him a ton. He can't be six man of the year good. He's got to come in here and be a legitimate starting point guard. So to me, him getting this offense in gear, he's the most important player, hands down. High expectations for the uh, New Jersey native. Okay, to the real NBA players of Brooklyn, that was the drama of the NBA offseason, including reports KD wanted Steve Nash gone. Listen to what Markeith Morris had to say about all of that. That's the NBA, man. Um, you break up with a girlfriend, you get back with her. Same sh Same sh <laughs> You have your differences until you figure it out. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, I mean, broke up with my wife a couple times. We still married. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Uh, you know, sometimes you need space to figure some things out. This sh works, you know. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure there are a couple of good relationships. I'm going to have to bring that up at home Brooklyn. the next time I'm there are a couple of family therapists. trouble. <laughs> Think about that. Think about what Markeith giving us all something we can use as we go into the NBA season. Nets plus 750 to win it all. Fourth best odds in the NBA. You told me not to go for the 50K. Should I go for plus 750? I'm not a believer. And, you know, we're hearing about the dysfunction around the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, that's real and that's spectacular. I don't trust this duo of Durant and Irving to stay happy throughout the course of the year. The East is way too good. You know, I didn't have the courage to say it when I saw Steve Nash on my run in Brooklyn a couple of days ago. But sorry, Steve, I don't think it's happening for your team. Boston, Miami, Milwaukee, they're all better. Also, there's that guy Ben Simmons. We still got to see him oh, on the court geez, in Brooklyn. Wake me up when that happens. <laughs>